Hey guys, this is Owen from Primal RC, and today I'm gonna to be showing you our brand new electric transmission. Really excited to bring this to you guys. This will fit in any fifth scale monster truck that we sell, and it's really cool. It's got a bunch of new features that we've never seen before. This is for uh, electric only, completely replaces the center transmission. You can run a max five size motor, you can run a max four size motor, you can run a single motor with single ESC, you can run dual motor, dual ESCs, uh, we have this awesome new battery plate, so you can mount your batteries in a bunch of different configurations. And uh, yeah, it's just a really exciting kit, and uh, I'll show you all of its features. This is a 56 millimeter motor. This is our Primal RC 960 KV. Uh, with this setup, you'd be able to do 8S. Really simple uh, ESC mount here for your single ESC. Our ESC plates have holes in them, so you can actually screw your ESC down. And this will, these, this whole pattern is for max five ESC, a max four ESC, and even a castle ESC. And then the last thing is we also have some little tabs here. So you could actually put strap around your ESC if you want to uh, further hold it in place. And yeah, tons of nice mounting options. You can run your wires around and zip tie them to these little tabs. And this drops in to the center of the truck, completely replaces the transmission gets rid of the reverse gear, gets rid of the extra servos, gets rid of the clutch. It just is a really simple uh, transmission. And then we also retained the reverse rotating drive shaft. So there's actually a shaft with an extra set of gears on this side. So your rear drive shaft rotates in the opposite direction of the front. So we retained that feature from the stock transmission. Um, and yeah, I'll start taking this apart, show you all its features. We have these covers that are really easy to remove. So I'll take those off really quick for you. So yeah, really nice billet covers. These come off just three bolts, super easy. And all of the bolts to remove those covers are really easy to get at. Once this is in the truck, you can just stick a tool straight through the frame, get to the bolts. So you can take it off, check your pinion, check your gear mesh. Um, the way this works is really cool. We have these rotating motor mounts. So you just use a tool here, you can loosen up the clamp and then rotate your motor. That lets you change pinion size. Uh, you could also change your gear mesh, obviously, make sure it's nice and tight. And you can run a 14 tooth up to a 25 tooth pinion. So we start out with 14. I really recommend just starting with a small pinion. Uh, you really, this thing has crazy amount of power. We were actually doing standing backflips with our test truck. So you really don't need a bigger pinion, but we do have the option because uh, every motor is a little different and likes something different. And yeah, everything is 10 millimeter thick steel, hardened steel shafts with this nice black coating. All the gears are hardened steel. We have no plastic gears, no plastic in the entire thing, honestly. And yeah, uh, all mod 1.5 gears, which is common on fifth scales. So you need mod 1.5 pinions. And all of our gears are 10 millimeters thick, super thick gears. We've never broken a gear on this. They're super strong. And then obviously the other thing you can see is this is a matching motor mount. Right now it's set up to hold the ESC, but you can just take this plate off, take the ESC out, put a second motor right there. Obviously run the same motor left and right, same pinion left and right, but you can really easily do a dual motor setup with this. And another really exciting thing is we have a torque damper system in the middle here. So this center spur gear directly off of the motor has a torque damper system. So there's rubber isolators inside and a nice steel plate in the middle. So this system basically limits the torque shock that can come from when you land a jump or do a wheelie. Uh, or if you land on the side funny. So basically it limits the, the forces that might be coming through the transmission and stops you from breaking gears, it stops you from breaking motor shafts, uh, stops you from stripping pinions, stuff like that. And it's really, really exciting and robust system that works really well. So here I can get this front cover off and show you some more features. All right, so this front cover will just slide off, keep the gears in place. These covers are super nice. They're all billet machined aluminum. 
And this brings us to the next awesome feature is we have these oversized bearings. So 10 millimeter shaft, but then we have these really big bearings. So they take a lot of abuse. We haven't had problems like some people have had on the stock transmission where you overheat bearings and things like that. And then they're all properly clearanced. So there's room in here for the race to spin. You know, nothing's gonna rub, nothing's gonna overheat on you. And everything's just super nice with this kit. So we have our cover and here you can see the gear train. So we have like a two stage reduction, the first reduction off the pinion and then our torque damper system runs into another little pinion here that then drops down to a big spur. So again, these gears are all like super beefy, super big, um, never broken a gear on this, all 10, mm, 10 millimeter shafts. Everything slides together really nice with this hex system. One other awesome feature of this is we have this big base plate that everything mounts to. This base plate also acts as like a skid plate on the bottom of the truck once it's installed. And we have the nice Primal RC logo on the bottom. Your suspension mounts directly to this, so super beefy connection point for your suspension. We got this nice machining on it. And then we even included some little holes here so you can actually get a tool up through the bottom of the truck to get at your drive shaft screws. So you can really easily take your drive shafts out from the bottom of the truck. Uh, really easy to service covers. You, they come off super easy. They're super strong. You're not gonna bend these or anything. Uh, the main part of the transmission is this 10 millimeter thick plate. So super beefy plate. Everything bolts together really nice. We also have these locking tabs on everything so that the covers lock into place when you put them on. Um, it all screws into the bottom of the plate. And then I won't take it apart, but we have our, our gear train in the back here. So just a single one-to-one -one reduction that gets you your reverse rotating drive shaft in the back. Um, yeah, so super beefy transmission. Here's a quick example of a single motor setup. This is a 56 millimeter diameter motor it's paired with a max five size Hobbywing ESC. And this ESC and motor combo is really simple, uh, maybe on the lower power side, but still plenty to move this truck around. You can see it's really clean install. The power switch is right there, easy to get to. Motor wires, super simple routing. Battery wires go right here to the battery tray. Also here you can see how the front battery tray gets installed. This is really nice configuration of a battery tray. You can run a bunch of different size batteries and there's tons of positions for straps and everything. It's also in the very front of the truck. So it keeps a lot of the weight towards the front which will help stop wheelies. The other thing that's kind of cool is our frame is technically pretty close to symmetrical front to rear. So you could actually install this entire system 180 degrees and run your batteries in the back and then the motor would be kind of in the front. I guess the advantage of that is you could do even more wheelies. Um, this truck will already do crazy wheelies with the electric setup so I don't really think the batteries in the back is a good idea but if you're doing like crawling or trailing and even just general bashing having the batteries up here is really nice. It keeps the weight down. The weight is all super low in the truck and the motor is also pretty low, but we're still not too low that we end up hitting the drive shaft or hitting any of the suspension links. So there's plenty of clearance between the drive shaft and the bottom of the motor. So you're not gonna have an issue where a suspension link might move up and hit your motor. Now, this is also the smaller motor. If you ran a 70 millimeter, there's still plenty of clearance. We've checked all of that and uh, yeah, you're not gonna damage anything. Here's an example of a chassis with the dual motor setup installed. So these are dual 56 millimeter motors. And then I have both my ESCs mounted up top here. I have a power switch on either side. So each ESC is uh, separate, but then they're wired together with a little Y splitter up here. So they're both plugged into channel two. So both their throttles will work together. I've checked the programming that they both have the same settings. So both motors are gonna run same speed, same braking, same everything. And then obviously I have the same pinion installed. And yeah, everything's a super clean install. It all runs into the receiver box here and I can put my batteries in right there. I have all my plugs nicely wired in right there. I still have the brake servo hooked up. So it still has 
the mechanical brake system just as a backup and that just helps stop the truck and yeah pretty simple setup this is a v4 truck so it's got the v4 steering it's got the v4 differentials it's got the v4 sway bars has these nice v4 plates which give us really easy access and yeah this is a really awesome truck excited to take it outside for its first drive pretty soon here so this is something pretty cool I'll show you. This is the truck from earlier in the video. This is our employee, Steve. This is his personal truck. Some of you probably know Steve. He's on our customer service team. And Steve has put this thing through the ringer. This is probably the most used fifth scale monster truck in the world. Um, he's driven it probably every day for the past year straight. And this is pretty much the exact setup he's been running the whole time. So this is the very first electric transmission we got. This is a prototype and we have not replaced a single gear. We haven't replaced a single shaft. We haven't replaced anything on this. He's been using this for a year straight and it's still going perfectly strong. He's been using for the most part, a single max four system. So this is a max four 70 millimeter motor with the max four ESC. And then he runs 12S. So he has two 6S batteries here normally that he'll run. Uh, and then he hooked up a really simple little receiver box in the front here. So his steering servos, which he has these really nice uh, perfect pass steering servos. So those just wire in super short wire straight to the receiver. And then our ESC wire just runs in there. So really simple setup. He has a 16 tooth pinion, which is just slightly bigger than the 14 tooth stock. So just a little bit more speed and the truck is really fast. It'll do wheelies like nothing. He's also got our Primal RC wheelie bar on the back. This is super durable and protects, you know, the frame a little bit from getting scratched when you're doing wheelies. You can also change the angle of it, which is pretty cool. So he also has our V4 steering bar in the front. He has V4 differentials in both diffs. And another small thing we did not super necessary, but we adjusted the length of these links to help angle the pinion up just a little bit to help with the drive shaft angle. And that's a very minor thing, but he likes to run the suspension super high up. So there's a lot of ground clearance here. And because of that, we angled the pinions up and we just did that by shortening the bottom link and lengthening the top link a little bit, which helped pivot the axle so that we got a little bit better of a drive shaft angle. So this has been a little overview of Steve's truck running our prototype electric transmission, still running strong with that Max 4 12S system. Really the only thing that he's been having an issue breaking has been our wheels. So these are a plastic rim with a metal hex on the inside. And what can happen is the wheel nut might come loose a little bit and then you can really easily st strip out that hex. Uh, it's a kind of a common issue on any RC car once you start overpowering it and running 12S and stuff like that. But we'd much rather break a cheap plastic wheel than start breaking expensive drivetrain components. So the wheel is kind of the weakest link right now, but for us, that's really not a problem. And I'd say we break a wheel, maybe one in every 20 battery packs. So you still have plenty of fun with this truck. And yeah, it's really awesome.